Dear friends, I am AEM Guru. As part of my YouTube channel videos, I am going to launch an HTL tutorial series which will help AEM developers to deliver projects better. The motto of this series is, I will help you to learn HTL, brush up your HTL skills and learn more. Here is the index of this tutorial. We start with index mode syntax, which has expressions and block statements. We also go to some of the basics like generics, things like HTL comments, formatting, request attributes. Under expressions, we have HTL options, HTL variables, HTL literals, HTL operators. Under block statements, we have sly use, use API, sly unwrap, sly text, sly attribute, sly element, sly repeat, Sly list, sly resource, sly include, sly template, sly call, data sly set. What next? I will take you through various use cases and examples to work with HTL. For example, client lib sample with HTL. What is HTL? HTML template language, also referred to as HTL, is Adobe Experience Manager's preferred and recommended server-side template system for HTML. As in all HTML server-side templating systems, an HTML file defines the output sent to the browser by specifying the HTML itself, some basic presentation logic and variables to be evaluated at runtime. In AEM 6.0 and 6.1, HTML was referred to as Sightly. This naming change does not impact code or the API, therefore compatibility is not affected. For more information, please do refer to the blog article on experience matters that digs deeper into the renaming. HTL is by design stricter than JSP in several aspects. Security and project efficiency are the main benefits of HTL compared to JSP. Fundamental concepts of HTL. The HTML template language uses an expression language to insert pieces of content into the rendered markup and HTML5 data attributes to define statements over blocks of markup like conditions or iterations. As HTML gets compiled into Java servlets, the expressions and the HTML data attributes are both evaluated entirely server side and nothing remains visible in the resulting HTML. This provides more security. Remember, AEM core components are written in HTL. HTL is easy to learn, HTML5 compliant, and HTML developers can work easily. What is HTL continued? Two different kinds of syntaxes can be distinguished in HTL. First one is block statements. To conditionally display the a data slightest HTML5 data attribute is used. HTL provides multiple such attributes which allow to attach behavior to any HTML element and all are prefixed with the data slide. Here is one example for the block statement. Second one is expressions language. HTL expressions are delimited by characters, dollar, open brace bracket, and close brace bracket. At runtime, these expressions are evaluated and their value is injected into the outgoing HTML stream. This is an example for expression language. Standard samples and tools. HTML has set of standards. First one is the HTL specification. This is for language lawyers. Provides the formal syntax and feature description. The HTL TCK. Technology compatibility kit. HTL TCK which provides a suite of tests meant to certify that an HTL implementation confirms the official language specification. HTL code samples. We have code samples. First one is vRetail reference implementation, an AEM site fully implemented with HTL. Second one is HTL to do MVC example, an AEM plus HTL implementation of the famous exercise. Let us see the developer tools available for HTL. HTL read, eval, print, loop a live execution environment for playing with the language, great for learning. AEM brackets ex extension, an easy tool for front-end developers to work on AEM components. AEM Eclipse extension, a tool for back-end developers to create AEM projects and easily edit them. 
the links for this tools are given in the description of this video what you may do now subscribe the channel to brush up your stl knowledge share this channel with your friends and colleagues who are willing to learn aem thanks for watching